minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, engines full power, and lift off. Go Hera, go Falcon, go SpaceX. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Stage 1 propulsion is nominal. At T plus 30 seconds and counting, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Slick 40. After clearing the tire, we begin to tilt or gimbal the engines. That initiates a roll maneuver you might see on the Stage 1 camera view, although it's kind of cloudy. But this enables the vehicle's antennas Power to stay in the best nominal. position for communicating with the ground. Faster than a speeding bullet, we're supersonic on Falcon 9. Waiting for the call out from GNC of Max-Q. Max-Q. Right on time, we're through the period of maximum pressure on the vehicle. The Merlin engines are back at power and we're out of the throttle bucket. Now from here on, even though the velocity is rapidly increasing, the atmospheric density is decreasing and that's resulting on less loads on the Falcon 9. 90 seconds into flight, the rocket typically needs to go 17,500 miles per hour horizontally in order to avoid gravity MVAC pulling it back chill. down to Earth and getting into orbit. We've heard the call out for MVAC chill. That's a bleed valve on the second stage engine that's performing the final chill prior to second stage engine ignition. All's looking good with the first stage trajectory. We're coming up on T plus two minutes. Views from onboard the camera mounted on the inner stage of Booster 1061. Now we've got three events that'll be coming up in just under 30 seconds. Main engine cutoff, the nine Merlin engines will be throttled down and shut down. Then we'll get stage separation and then startup of the MVAC engine on its first of two burns on the second stage. We've begun throttling down the Merlin engines. Main engine cut off. Call for Miko. Stage separation. Successful stage separation. MVAC ignition. MVAC ignition and we're up on power on stage two. Coming up will be fairing deployment. And for the first stage, as we saw it in the background, farewell 1061 and we thank you. As we continue climbing out of Earth's atmosphere, we're waiting for the right time when we can open up and deploy the fairing. That should be coming up in about 10 seconds. There's a camera view as we switch. You can see Hera inside the two halves of the fairing. Fairing separation. and successful payload fairing separation. As we mentioned earlier, the fairing halves have supported multiple missions. One half has flown 12, now 13 missions, and the other had previously flown 18. And those fairing halves will come back down to earth. They're guided by cold gas thrusters and then uh, parachutes or parafoils. Falcon is on a nominal trajectory. They'll deploy and they'll be recovered by our recovery vessel, Doug. Stage two, FDS has safe. Continuing to get good call outs and some great views here. Again, this is from the second stage looking at the MBAC engine. The HERA payload is still attached. MVAC shut down. Nominal park orbit insertion.
Now, coming up here in a few seconds should be... And SC back ignition. And right on time, SES2. That call out was for second stage engine start. Now, this burn is planned to last about a minute and a half. And we got a great view of that MVAC engine burning very bright there. Now, during this time, we will be adding 4,500 kilometers per second to our velocity. And again, on the bottom right hand of your screen, you can see the speed increasing rapidly there. And you can also see the altitude of the vehicle and the payload. Now, this is the second burn for this mission. Uh, there are two planned burns for this uh, payload to be dropped into an interplanetary orbit. So that first burn took us into an Earth orbit, and now this second burn that's currently happening right now is taking the vehicle and the payload to that interplanetary orbit where the HERA spacecraft will be deployed. Now we're just about 30 seconds away from the conclusion of SES-2, which will be SECO-2, that second stage engine cutoff-2. And then we will shut down that MVAC engine, allow the vehicle to coast for a little bit prior to the deployment of the payload. Now SECO-2 is coming up here in just a few seconds. MVAC shut down. Hera separation confirmed. Great view. We've got successful deployment of the HERA spacecraft. And with successful payload deploy, that brings our webcast to a close.